meal prep video. So prepping meal is really great to keep you in track, to stop binge eating or snacking every couple of minutes. I find that it really helps because I think less about food, so less binge eating. That's what I feel anyway. So today's meal prep includes breakfast, lunch, dinner and snacks. It is really wholesome, healthy and really yummy as well. So prepping meals saves a lot of time because you just prepare everything in bulk. It also helps in losing weight or gaining weight if that's what you're looking for because you tend to not under eat or over eat. But if you feel like having a chocolate, just go for it. Like it's okay to have everything in moderation. So yeah, let's get started. Before we get started, these glass containers are really affordable. I got them from IKEA for four dollars each, and they will last for a long, long time, unless if you break it. Okay, so for breakfast, I'm making zucchini egg muffins. You can add your favorite vegetables or bacon if you like bacon, but I don't like bacon, so I'm just going with zucchini and capsicum. So we need about nine eggs, a quarter cup of almond milk or water, two medium zucchinis, and one capsicum. Season it with some salt and pepper. Mix the eggs well, and then add the shredded zucchinis and capsicum. I've also oiled the tray with some olive oil, then pour in the mixture and bake it in the oven for 25 minutes at around 180 degrees Celsius. And all the recipes in this video are in the description box, so check it out! So I normally have some sort of carbs in the morning and the carbs in the muffins is definitely not enough So I've also made some overnight oats It is super easy to make and you can make it overnight before you go to bed So just make it when you feel like having it the next day So I have a cup of oats each A dash of maple syrup, vanilla extract and lots of almond milk I don't measure my almond milk because I like it quite liquidy so I just pour those stuff in like just lots and I added a bit of chia seeds and that's it it's super easy next for lunch and dinner I'm going to roast lots of vegetables I've got three large sweet potatoes here I've added some olive oil and nothing else I like it really simple I like my sweet potatoes taste like sweet potatoes so I don't add salt or pepper, just some oil. My style, I like it natural. <laughs> so I baked it in the oven for a total of 30 minutes at 200 degrees Celsius and flipping them over after the first 10 to 15 minutes. Also got four capsicums here, some asparagus, and honestly, just roast any vegetables that you like. You can try squash, broccoli, and things that look roastable. Mm -hmm. So while waiting for the vegetables to be cooked, I'm going to cook one and a half cup of quinoa, wash them, and pour in about three cups of water. Cook until most of the liquid has been absorbed, and it takes about 15 minutes. Then now I'm going to prep my protein dishes. That's my chicken and fishes. So I have some salmon here and I like my salmon really simple. <laughs> Just some salt and pepper, no oil or anything else. So salmon is a pretty oily fish so I don't see a point adding oil to it because it stays pretty nice and moist. So I grill it in the oven for around 9 to 10 minutes depending on the thickness at 200 degrees Celsius. Next, I have some white fish. So I rub some oil on it, give it a good rub, and half a lemon juice, some ginger, some salt, pepper, and this is going to be so yummy. Ginger is so good with white fish and great for bloating as well, so I love adding ginger to my foods. Grill it in the oven for 10 minutes at 200 degrees Celsius as well. Now, while waiting for the fish, I'm going to stir fry some kale with garlic. Then I'm going to grill some chicken breast in the oven. Rub some oil on it, I'm using olive oil, um, some salt, paprika, pepper and garlic granules. I love garlic granules, so try it out. It is super simple, chuck it in the oven for another 10 minutes at 200 degrees Celsius again. Next, for snacks, let's make some hummus to eat with pita bread or vegetables. So the exact measurements is in the description box. 
Generally, I like to add more olive oil and less tahini because tahini is a little bitter for my liking. Um, and also I add a lemon, some roasted garlic. You can also add cumin or other spices if you like to. But in case you can't tell, I really like my food taste like how the food is supposed to taste like. Um, I really like the taste of chickpeas by itself, so I like to keep it natural. So this version has less fat than what we find in the supermarket because I substitute the oil with some almond milk. And it's a lot less salty as well because all these packaged hummus are actually really, really salty. So I like to make my own and just add some pink salt. So that's it. Eat it with celery, carrots or cucumber if you want it lower carb. But I personally love to eat hummus with pita bread. It tastes so amazing guys, you gotta try it. So that's my meal prep for a week. Um, yeah, five days. It covers breakfast, lunch, snacks and dinner. So this makes five chicken meals. The chicken meal goes with sweet potatoes, capsicums and asparagus. And the fish meals goes with quinoa and kale. I've added some sweet potatoes to the white fish meals because white fish are generally lower in calories. I just pack on the quinoa, I didn't measure anything here at all, just eyeball it. So that's a total of 10 meals for 5 days. With 8 muffins and oats for breakfast and hummus for snacks. Add some fruits for breakfast or snacks. I also like to indulge on some coconut ice cream these days as a snack. It is totally okay to have some sweets here and there, even if you're trying to lose weight. You're not going to lose your progress because you want a scoop of ice cream. It's fine. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you like this. And I'm going to have another intense HIIT workout next Tuesday, so watch out for that. And yeah, thanks so much for watching guys, and I'll see you next week. Bye!